Hey guys, welcome back to Beer Reviews with the Beer Sarge. It's, uh, it's a little bit late tonight, but uh, I've been working in the garden all day, wrangling bloody children trying to do stuff. Only one of them seemed to get the idea, but there you go, that's how you roll. Um, so we've got a Three Sisters review to do today. Roses and Rivets. So it's a 500ml Imperial Red Rye IPA. I don't think I've ever had one. That's 8.4. 8.4 so that's it there I can't get too close to the screen because uh, you'll run out of light but there you go right, that's uh, obviously those of us uh, who know a little bit of World War II history will know that that's Rosie the Riveter some guy posted on Facebook about um, that's not an original picture I hope the beer's original what a twat of course the fucking beer's original Anyway, I also fucking sprung for one of these. Three Sisters glass. It's a very intriguing shape. So I'm looking forward to trying that. All right, so let's get into it without further ado. Um, it's so dark in here, I can hardly find anything, but Donald Trump to the front again. All right, let's have a look at this. So um, an Imperial Red rye IPA so I don't know a hell of a lot about it we'll pour it in there it's looking good I'll so get it over in front of the light so you get a little bit of the color but that is brilliantly red brilliantly red and these like I said in the um, in the last review I did for three sisters uh, these will hold, they hold 520 mil, so there you go, look at that, it's quite, it's quite a dark red, but uh, yeah, interesting. So a red rye, imperial red rye, um, let's have a read of the side. Aurora rye, wheat and shepherd's delight malts with Sarah's own Belgian candy syrup, antimum and mosaic hops. West Coast American and German ale yeasts, full bodied with notes of dark caramel and dried fruits. So it's a dark beer, so you know the jury's out for me on these, but you know, we're gonna give these a try. So let's have a smell. Oh. So that smells, um, wow, that smells, um, what does it say, dried fruits? I suppose a few, what does it say dried fruits? my notes dark caramel and dried fruits kind of like a um I don't know the pick and mix section at fucking countdown maybe yeah it has got a, a dried fruit kind of smell like sultanas and raisiny sort of smell but anyway looking forward to a drink Christ I'm looking forward to a drink today Wow, um, I'm not usually a, I'm not a dark beer fan, but then in saying that this is red, not dark, so it's kind of different. Um, it's it's quite it's got a sweet flavour to it. Um, very little bitterness. There's a little little bit there, but not a lot. Um, it's very smooth, very smooth, um, and being being an 8.4 um, hasn't got that huge uh, alcohol like hit that you expect from like a Kingfisher Strong or something where you drink it and you're like it, this is really really uh, it's really smooth a really delightful beer like a, a, a winter beer I would say this is a beautiful winter beer yep I could um, I could drink a few of these be on my ass afterwards but I could drink a few um, yes yeah, so I got uh, 
one of these we've got another one to try hot rod we're gonna have, give that a crack next um, and I've got another one of those still stuck in bubbles because they've they've got it uh, they've run out of stuck in bubbles they've sold out so still stuck in bubbles I bought one of those and I bought the glass so good deal from three sisters again all right I'm gonna go and finish my roses and rivets and uh, you guys stay safe and I don't know about these nighttime bloody reviews I have to keep quiet because the neighbors are just over there and uh, yeah I think I might do the next one during the day all right stay safe stay safe bloody shadows Jesus all right catch ya